Now, we just got done looking at this problem. We had the number, or the, the product, 8 times 14. Do you guys remember that? I mean, we just did that before you were complaining about me giving you a quiz. <laughs> now, this is what I'm going to do. Now, this can either help or hinder. I don't know, so it's up to you. So again, I don't know 8 times 14. I broke up the 14 as 10 plus 4 before, right? I'm going to break this down and say that 14, how could you rewrite 14 instead of 10 plus 4? You could say 9 plus 5, but what about in terms of its factors? What numbers would you multiply to get 14? 2 times 7, right? <coughs> Watch the magic. Okay? I may write it like this and then say, you know what? I can rearrange this to say 8 times 7 times 2. I said the order of your factors doesn't matter. I see some of you already giving like the, the stinky. <clears throat> stinky eye look to this. What's 8 times 7? This is 56. And I don't have a problem multiplying times 2. What's 56 times 2? You're doubling 56, right? That should be 112. Do you all agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're doubling <coughs> a number like this, double 50, what do you get? Double six, what do you get? So what's 112? 112. Right? How many of you are afraid to see numbers in a different way? One person. I would call your name out, but I don't want you to feel bad when you go back and watch this video. Let's do, let's do another example. Because I know you guys like to distribute. Sorry about this. If I have negative 7 times 4 minus 5, <coughs> I want to see what this would be if you distribute. If you distribute, what do you get? Negative 7 times 4 is what? Negative 28. Negative 28. Now, the next part you have to be very, very careful about. The next piece is negative 7 still times what number? Negative 5. Times negative 5. Look at this. Negative 7 times 4 is negative 28, right? Mm -hmm. The other part I have here is negative 7 times negative 5. What is that? Negative five. Positive or negative? Positive. You have a negative 28 and a positive 35. What is your answer? Let's see. These guys have opposite signs, right? Yes. Which one has the stronger, the higher absolute value? Positive the positive 35. So my answer must be positive. The difference between 35 and 28 is 7. So my answer is positive 7. I know you guys are looking at me like, Mr. Craig, you are messed up. Hold on. <laughs> Let's look at this another way because I want you guys to be believers. I said that you can do what's inside the parentheses first, right? Yes. So what's 4 minus 5? Negative 1. What's negative 7 times negative 1? Negative times a negative equals a positive 7. All right. You feel the power? Sure, why not? I want you guys to leave on a good note. 4 times negative 8 minus 5. Distributive property. Hippity hoppity. That's what one of my students told me before. What's 4 times negative 8? Negative 32. And then you have 4 times what? Negative, negative 5. What's 4 times negative 5? Negative you have a negative 32 and a negative 20. Are you multiplying these? No. You lose 32. You lose 20. What have you done? 
52. You've lost 52. Do you agree? Yes. <coughs> or if you wanted to, you could have said this, 4 times what? If you combine the stuff inside the parentheses first, what's negative 8 minus 5? That's a negative 13, right? You lose 8, you lose 5. You, you're right there? Okay, what's a positive times a negative? Negative, and 4 times 13, if you play cards, you know the answer. It's 52, right? You have four suits. Each suit has 13 cards. That's 52 cards all together. So the answer is negative 52.